Hey gang, we're in here. Welcome on back to the Cade and hope you are having a safe and happy start to your 2024, wherever you may be, as we are carrying on with our first time playthrough of Dark Souls Remastered. This was bonus content we started back in the tail end of 2023 to commemorate us hitting 200 episodes on this channel. And now that we have reached our goal of 100 subscribers, we need to come up with something new to celebrate that as well. So if you're able to, and if you're interested, leave me some notes in the comments down below of what you'd like to see us do to mark having 100 subscribers. Because now that we've gotten to triple digits, the only way up forward from there is to get up to quadruple digits. So that's what we're going to be trying to work on. So, uh, and this channel is all about building content. It is stuff that you would like to see from... The halcyon days of video games across the 80s, 90s, and 2000s. Granted, we're playing one that's from 2010, but we do sometimes make exceptions around here. It's my retro kid. I get to make the rules. So, uh, again, leave inf uh, any ideas you have down in the comments below. Any options are welcome and open, and we will definitely take them into consideration. So, in the last episode, we started to work our way through New Londo ruins, and we got, I think... Probably maybe a halfway through and we opened up the sluice gate and let all the water out and found ourselves in an interesting situation because now where we're at is we need to be able to get to the uh, rest of it because we were looking for something called the four kings which I'm assuming is the boss for that zone but what we're going to do is we're going to try and get at it in a different way because we can navigate through a whole top side area that we've already been through. We've already cleared out, but they're full of ghosts that we need to use an item called the transient curses to be able to attack. Or conversely, we managed to find a way in that leads us through what's called the Valley of the Drakes. And we've already been into that area a little bit. But in order to get back to that zone, we need to go through the um, the Dark Root Basin. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these Baldur Knights out just for the hay of it. Because I love having a plus four Black Knight sword. Um, and while we're down there, there was something else that I had been meaning to check out. That wasn't there when we fought the Hydra. But having gone and watch many a tutorial video on these games and Dark Souls Remastered specifically. I've watched them on all three Dark Souls games over the last three to five years. I remember once you beat the Hydra, there's a creature that's tucked back kind of in that same area that we can get to. Well, I'm thinking well, about it. Need anything. Uh, is there anything that he can boost up for us? I need four Tight Knight to get my Black Knight Sword to plus five. Um, I need two to start building up a Black Knight Great Axe, but I'm not going to be able to use that for a bit. So I think we're okay for right now. Something else I remember that we've got to deal with at some point is back in the catacombs, which we dealt with two episodes ago, we did come across a Titanite demon. And I should not forget about it. The reason why I didn't fight it was I had just gotten done fighting the Black Knight. That managed to get me the Black Knight Great Axe. And what we'll do is we'll head down this way again. Okay, 
was wondering whether or not we were, there's a tree man that usually sits right at that junction. Sometimes he follows me down here, so we're good on this one. Up down here. Alright, and now the Hydra is gone. Let's take these guys out really quick. So now I don't have to worry about getting hit by water loogies everywhere. You leapfrogged right over me, dude. <laughs> You down. Ow. Alright, you clipped me a little bit. It's weird coming down here now, not seeing the Hydra. So what we need to do is we need to put the rusted iron ring on. That way we can traverse the water. Okay, we're going to hug the side over here. And there is a gold golem. Now from what I know, these gold golems are much tougher than the blue ones. Well, we've almost already taken this thing out. Hello. So, it is thou who rescues me. Most gracious, I am deeply obliged. I am Dusk. Dusk of Ulysseel. I come up from an age long before thine. So, before my home, Ulysseel, is the home of ancient sorcery. My hope is to pass this profound knowledge. Would this be a bit... Sure. Then I shout, thou art in need. All right, so we rescued her. I don't know what that does as far as the story goes or what have you, but I remember that was the other thing that we needed to deal with in this area. Well, there's also that ladder, but I'm not going to worry about that ladder right now because... I'm a man on a mission, and I know what I'm going to look for. Although, what is this over here? Is this... Oh, that's Summoner. Okay. I am Dusk. It is an honor. I shall put... Ah, learn a gesture. Proper bow. Seal, Ivory Catalyst, and Spells. Of course, none of this stuff is going to be things that I'm necessarily interested in, although it's nice to be able to learn that, uh, gesture. It was there long after I had so gleeful. The sorceries it is the Alright, I'm going to exhaust her... The sorcery, it is the ...dialogue, and I think I've done that. Okay. If thou art in me. And what I'm going to do also is I've got that bow. Uh, I'm going to. Whoops. Not what I wanted. 
switch to proper bow. That way I have that for if I have to do any more summons. So one of the things I didn't understand when I first started playing this game is that, especially when you start doing, like, um, summons with actual players, like, there's an etiquette involved. And I didn't realize that. Like, when you do a player summon, like, the etiquette is, is that you give them a, a formal greeting. So, like, you do a bow or you do something, like, similar like that. It speaks to the overwhelming popularity of this game, even though now that it is, well, more than a decade old, although the remastered version is, I think, what, five years old? That that sort of community still exists here. So, this is the Valley of the Drakes, and the first time I came down here, I got my clock cleaned by these very beasties. They still hit for quite a lot. But, these gates are open up now, so this is where, when the gates open, all that flood water came out here. So, now, if I can get past these drakes and pick up that item, then I should be able to do a bit more damage. And the one thing that I have going for me is I happen to have this bad boy, and I've still got 35 Dragon Slayer arrows. And they give me a thousand souls a pop, which isn't bad. Let's see if I can headshot it. Or something else I can do that I totally forgot that I have, because I took haven't taken the it off yet, is I can try out the hawk ring which extends the bow range. So in theory, we'll see if this works or not. Having picked this thing up in Anor Orlando, it I should be surprised with how much damage it does, but I mean considering the Silver Knights were firing these things at me every chance they got. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> That is a serious fat roll. Uh, okay, so I want to put back my regular arrows. I don't need to worry about the bow at the moment. And I can put back on my ring of steel protection. 
Where is it? There we go. Because now I have one Drake to deal with, and one Drake, in theory, should be a lot easier to handle. Brigand, hood, armor, gauntlets, trousers, and the spider shield, of which I already have one. God. Yet another case of me not paying attention to my footing, and down I go. Well, at least I rested at this bonfire, which is why I did that. <sighs> Just when you think you're trying to outsmart the game, the game reminds you, don't try and be that smart. You think you're outsmarting it, and then it proves you're just being a smartass. <sighs> Alright, well, take two. He's bombing me with lightning at this point, dude. Come here. damage. One more to do it. All right, whittle you down a bit. All 
All right, and this time, don't be stupid, Ron, and go off the side. There we go. And ring ahead. There's a ring up here? There's something up here. What did I get? Red tear stone ring. What do you do? Boost attack while HP is low. Alright, well, I mean... Of no use to me now. All right, now I remember there was a guy who was in here. There he is. So we're back in the New Londo Ruins. There's that guy right there. Introduce you to Senior Backstab. You, okay, so that had to be a Dark Wraith. in here. Nothing here. Oh, crap! Get out in the open where you can fight them better. I still took you out. Oh, and you're guarding a gray door. And this thing could be big enough that... Okay, well, we're either going to face the four kings or we're going to face something else. facing something else. Okay, I think there's Dark Wraith over here. I don't need you yakking that snot all over me. Thank you very much. And thank you very much for the 5,000 souls. Okay. Uh, what else do we have over here? Oh, crap. <laughs> I caught a glimpse of or a glint off his armor. I'm like... Bleh. Eat it. Okay. Imminent shortcut. Where do you go? Oh, you go back up here. Sorry, wrong floor. Okay, good to know. Whoop, item. Humanity. And what is up this way? Is 
something here. Soul of Rave Warrior. Okay, I will take that. Ember. All right, well, they weren't lying. So I have to bring that back to a smith. I think we can come down this way. So we went that way. Came in this way. Okay. Do my bearings here. Alright, so there's still water here. Let's see if we go in this way. Uh, I don't think we can go that way. No, there's an item over there. Thought I heard footsteps. Put you down. Okay, go get this item here. Large Soul Proud Knight. Here. Hidden path ahead. Okay. Oh, crap. Too small of a room for you. Tight night chunk. All right. We got something over here. Cracked red eye orb. What else do we have? Ooh, we got a Dark Wraith. Okay, put him down. Hard Soul Proud Knight. Yeah, that looks like another one of those big globby things. Who? what was that? Oh, we got ghosts here. Oh, jeez. And I gotta move, and I gotta move, and I gotta move. Alright, where those ghosts go? Oh man, there's another Dark Wraith here. Ooh. 
All right, get a swig of that. Oh, so you're the one that's launching those things out. Boy, get rid of all of this. All right, where are we at here? We are at 31 minutes, so we are... <sighs> at a point where we should call it good. Tighten my chunk. But I still haven't found a bonfire yet. And there's that gray door. Is there a bonfire around here somewhere? Nope, there's another dark wraith. either a way into I'm hoping this is a where a bonfire is it isn't and there's a ghost sitting there Thirty seven thousand souls. Now they said I needed something from Artorius to be able to get to the four kings. But I don't think I have anything. Covenant of Artorias transverse the abyss. Well, they mentioned the abyss. That's what that guy talked about when he was talking about the dark race. Well, I mean, <sighs> looks like I go. Whoop, there's a message down here. Try a ring. Okay, well, I put that ring on. <sighs> well, it's going to run a little bit long, guys, but I can't go any further. <sighs> Here's hoping. And we're in the abyss. Okay. Four kit. Oh, geez. Okay. I don't think I want to be on the receiving end of that. Ow! Did he grab me?
Okay, well, that's one down, I guess. Am I gonna have to fight this thing four times or something, or what? Ah! Grab me again! Come on, let me go. Where's the third one? There's the third one. So if he does that spin move, I don't want to get hit by it. One left. Or no, I'm out of Estus Flask, but it looks like I only need to hit this thing like twice. <gasps> well, that was fun. Not. Bequeath Lord Soul Shard. And look who's waiting for me to bonfire. We have Kaith. And I got 60,000 souls for that. Whoa! All right, well, before I do anything, because we are way over on this episode, although I can't say it's not for good reason. All right, so I'm gonna get my soul sorted out. And then we're gonna call it good here because in the next episode, we will talk with Kaith and that will set me on the path towards ending the game in the way that I understand we can end it. So, uh, if you've been enjoying the content on the channel, as always, best way to show it, hit that like button, subscribe if you are new, ring the bell to be notified of the latest content. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and threads at Ruins Retrocade. Thank you to everybody who has subscribed so far. We are past our goal, our initial goal of 100 subscribers. Your patronage is, as always, most appreciated. And if there is a game that you would like to see as feature from the Nintendo Entertainment System, the Super Nintendo, Sega Master System, Sega Genesis, or Mega Drive, SNK Neo Geo, Nintendo 64, Sega Saturn, Sega Dreamcast, PlayStation 1 or PlayStation 2, leave it in the comments below or drop me a line on social media. It can be any game from those consoles that you want. My name is Ron. It's been great to spend this time with you. Be safe, be well, happy gaming, and we will talk to you again in episode 30 of our Dark Souls playthrough. Bye!